Grimm. He brings a record of eight wins, no losses, one draw. All eight victories coming by way of knockout from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, Elvis, the Dominican kid, Rodriguez. Fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 142.9 pounds, wearing camouflage trunks with black trim. He brings a record of nine wins, two losses, six of those victories by way of knockout. From Fairmont, West Virginia, Sergeant Cody Wilson. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the instructions in the dressing room. Anything on the belt line is going to be a legal shot. Anything here is going to be legal, okay? All right, you obey my commands, give me a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Scoot back. Eight wins, eight knockouts for Elvis Rodriguez. Nine fights that have lasted only 23 rounds. What's that draw you say? The one blemish, it was a first round technical draw in 2019. All right, when we talk about buzz, what's the why, Dre? Why is there so much buzz over Elvis Rodriguez? Well, Elvis Rodriguez shows you pedigree, Joe. He's He's got the amateur background on an international level, and every time he's come out as a professional, he's shined, and I don't, I don't think tonight's going to be any different. Well, Tess, for me, he's a big southpaw. That's just, that's difficult to begin with. You know, he has great size, height, Tremendous ring IQ, got hand speed, you know, great counter puncher with great accuracy. He has a sneaky right uppercut, and then what I love about him is, is that he has a right hook. You know he's a true softball. You know when you have a true softball when he has a straight left hand and also the right hook. Cody Wilson is a 26-year-old from West Virginia. He serves in the U.S. Army Reserve, a two-year pro. He's won four fights in a row. And he goes down right on his backside halfway through round one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, brother. Okay. All right, here we go. So Elvis with time to hunt. Rodriguez patiently probing with that southpaw jab. There's the right hook that Tim Bradley spoke of. Yeah, Wilson is a solid guy, Joe. I mean, you know, he, he's you know he's tough. You know, we talked to him in the fighter meeting. You look at his record. He's a guy who does the best he can, but his best is just not going to be enough tonight against Elvis Rodriguez. Nearly turned him around that time. Rodriguez coming in, looking for that power hand. Doubling up that front lead hand as Wilson tries to return fire. When you have a fighter as, as polished as Rodriguez against fear your competition, Joe, you want to look at his mindset. Is he going to sleep? Is he a guy who fights to the level of his competition? And I'm talking if you're in his corner. Or does he keep his, his mindset at the level it needs to be, understanding that every fighter is not going to be like Wilson? Oh, oh nice lady, you got to step up the competition. I mean, if he gets a knockout, which I think he will, I think he will, you know, you got to struggle a little bit. You know, it's part of development. You know, it's huh. the only He's been living the dream to have this kind of an opportunity to fight on this big of a championship level card. That first round was almost a nightmare for him. Up against the eight win Elvis Rodriguez, who's originally from the DR, but trains as a pro in LA at the wild card gym. Grew up playing baseball originally in the Dominican Republic, but would get into fights on the baseball field, so to the boxing gym he went.
test. Wilson is coming off four straight wins, three by TKO. So he's riding high with confidence. And I believe that's the reason why he took this fight, where most people will see, you know, Elvis Rodriguez and say, oh, no, I'm going to steer clear of this type of competition. But, you know, it just shows you what type of man that Wilson is. You know, he fears no man. He wants to get in there and test his skills against the best. So I respect him. Yeah, Tim, I respect the, the will, and we're going to see a will guy in our main event with Jose Ramirez. But it, it's really discouraging when, when the will is not enough. When you're facing a guy who's a skill set, there's just such a big gap between you and your opponent where no matter how much will you have, it's just not going to be enough. See Elvis for a moment sitting on that right hook as Wilson was charging in. Now, Wilson does have power in his right hand, and, you know, the right hand is the southpaw killer. He has to try to set it up. You know, he has to get Rodriguez to commit and just lower his head and throw that and throw that right hand in hopes that it will land. Hands free, let him go. Hands free, let him out, let him out. You know, one thing that Wilson said that they wanted to bring back with the peekaboo style. I don't see a peekaboo style here. He said he he got into boxing because of his parents and watching Mike Tyson. That right hook just clipped him up top. Oh. Rodriguez goes back into the pocket. Short right uppercut. Wilson is game, but being outclassed here. Doubling up Absolutely. that right hand, mouthpiece comes out, right uppercut did damage. Good work here by Elvis. Well, the reason why Tim's not seeing the peak of Boo style is because Wilson is getting lifted up with uppercuts like that from Rodriguez. It's just, you can't peak a Boo when you got that kind of heat coming at you from underneath like that from Rodriguez. Good selection of punches. He's putting his punches together there. Picked him up with the uppercut, and you see right there Elvis recognizing having good ring IQ. Landing right on the chin of Wilson. Sometimes you see it and you know it, but that eye candy of watching that uppercut land and the mouthpiece come out, and you understand why Freddie Roach says he's the best young sensation out there right now. We have a very good crop in the sport of prospects on the way up, especially within this range of weight divisions. But Elvis Rodriguez looks special. Well, Joe, he's been at the highest level uh, as an amateur. He's fought multiple Cubans. Oh, he's come up short against the Cuban fighters that he's fought the Pan Am Games World Championship, but he's never got dominated. He never looked like he was in over his head or a deer in the headlights. So you, you realize that he has the intangibles. You're seeing the skill set right here. He just has to stay on track, keep getting tested at the right time, and I think it's just a matter of time. On, Going on, straight on. back this time is oh, Wilson. It's a matter of time and he this fight with a end. big left hand. An absolute bomb from Elvis Rodriguez, and this fight is over. Power surge, Elvis, play that music. His signature celebration, strumming that guitar after flooring a rival. Elvis Rodriguez does it again. Nine wins, nine knockouts. That's a TK. I waved it off. Boy, is he fun to watch, guys. Yes, he is. Test. this is what I call getting yourself in a good rhythm. As you see Rodriguez attacking, but did you see the two punches that were thrown right there? Did you see him step out out of range just in half an inch, make those punches miss, and then counter right away, and then place the jab on the head 
of Wilson and came down well, Tim, with the crushing the, left hand. Those are the it's small things, Tim, that ultimately add up when Rodriguez steps up the competition and he's facing guys that look like him, that have the same amateur pedigree, the same championship ability. Those small nuances right there is what separate guys because everybody's good at the highest level, but there's small things that... Ladies and gentlemen, referee Robert Hoyle calls a stop to this bout at 103 of round number three, declaring your winner by knockout, Elvis, the Dominican kid, Rodriguez. I'm on the bag, whatever it is. Yep.